Hey, this is Rick Burnett from Erogenous Tones, and this is just a quick video that's going to show you how to take structure and hook it up to VCMC. So you see we have the output of VCMC coming through and connecting into the MIDI end of structure. So there's two different things we can map over, and that is either gates or CC um, controllers. So let's start with gates first. So if you go into, I've got Gen up here, so I'm going to go into the state screen. Same, same for action. Um, so let's you know, we're going to keep invert output and we're going to hit add MIDI. So what structure does is it listens to whatever MIDI is coming in. So if you start pressing the one or two button down here, you'll notice over here, you'll see that it is switching between M1, M61 and M63. So either of those can be used. So let's say that that's the second button. And these are just the default settings. So if you've changed any of the default settings on VCMC, you might have different um, MIDI notes coming in, but that's what those are. So I click OK, and now you can see that uh, up here that we're indicated that that's D3 basically um, that's been selected. So then if I want to save these so that they come up next time I start structure, if I go into the performance screen, Oops, wrong one. Performance, you can see here it says the actions and states are unsaved. So I'm gonna go ahead and save performance. And now that has been saved. Um, so one thing really quick to say here. So these eight buttons down here are MIDI notes. Well, up top you have these gate inputs. And I believe these gate inputs are also MIDI notes and there'll be different ones than what's down here. So if you have a MIDI note, uh, you know, a, a, a gate voltage coming in, that on one of those, that's what structure is going to see when you're trying to uh, assign that. Now for CCs, that's handled a little differently, but you do still have the same thing here. You have these sliders here, and so these eight are certain CC numbers, and then these CV inputs here are a different set of inputs, so they're separate. So like this one's 14, I tested it out a little earlier. So we're going to map this one. So um, what you can do is you come in and you're going to go to the uh, mod matrix, that brings up the CC page. Now here is where we have slots. And there's, uh, I think there's 32 different slots. And these are different spots that you can assign a CC that then you can have um, structure listen to as to modulate parameters in any of the nodes. So we're gonna reassign this first one. So we're gonna hit change. And right now it's using MIDI to detect. So you'll notice it's switching between 21 and 27. Well, the firmware I have on VCMC right now is a little noisy. So I haven't updated to the latest one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the first slider up and down. You can see it, see it, that's 23. So I can go ahead and hit ignore MIDI. So now it's gonna ignore it. And now I could set that to 23 um, with the encoder, cause I know what it is. And now I can hit close. Now, if I go over and move the encoder up and down, you can see what it's doing. So now let me just take a control voltage. So I have Batumi over here creating a control voltage, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook this into the first slot to show you how this works. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit change. And now I'm gonna listen for MIDI. You're gonna see, oh, it's getting 14 and, and uh, 23, which 23 and 21 and 27, just a little bit of noise. So now I'm gonna ignore um, I just timed it right, but I could go dial in that and now you can see it's listening to that first slot Which is coming in from Batumi up here So now if you want to save the mod matrix, it's the same thing. We're going to exit out We're going to go into the performance menu and here it says the mod matrix has changed So I save it into my performance and now when I restart structure those will be um, The values so now we know we set that 14 into slot 1 so if I wanted to go into the parameters of Gen, then I can come up here and change the mod source, and we can go down to CC slot one, and then set that. Now you can see it going up and down, and then that's changing the value, and that's coming from the value coming in from VCMC. Now one thing to note, you could uh, go into VCMC and change the mapping for what each of the CVs are coming out to match whatever structure has inside. But I, it'd probably be easier just to do it the way that I've just shown. That way you don't have to edit anything on the little screen on VCMC. 
So that's it. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know. But this procedure is pretty much similar for all other of these type of things, um, like the Sweet 16 from Tesseract, um, you know, and some of the other uh, MIDI um, CC gate to MIDI interfaces. All right, thanks.